five years ago, I moved to Pasadena from my hometown of Salt Lake City, Utah. I quickly fell in love with Pasadena's colorful and vibrant atmosphere, one filled with rich traditions and promising opportunity. Art and music are vitally important to the cultural makeup of the city, with Old Town being the center for museums, galleries, and festivals. The Norton Simon, one of LA's premier art museums, lies just past Fair Oaks at the starting point of the world-renowned Rose Parade. Once a year, millions of people watch beautiful flower-covered floats move down Colorado Boulevard. Turning the corner on one Colorado and Smith Alley, a large 8 by 4 foot statue takes your attention. Seemingly out of place, California artist Viola Frey's Kneeling Man with Hammer sits in front of a red brick backdrop of an old town car- corner alley. Created in 1991, this glazed ceramic sculpture depicts a working class man, perhaps a construction worker, carpenter or maintenance man, wearing gloves and holding a hammer. In a kneeling position, one arm rests on his leg while the other that holds the hammer lays on the ground. He seems to be looking at an unknown, perhaps unfinished project and sizing up the work that's left to be done. At this stage in her career, Frey was creating sculptures that reflected abstract expressionist paintings, pop art, and California funk art. You can see some of these elements coming together with the texture, color, and even simplified subject matter. When you look at Kneeling Man up close, you really get a sense of the thick, bumpy texture of the ceramic. There are almost no flat surfaces, yet all the bumps and holes lack sharp corners or edges. It kind of looks like his clothes and skin are beginning to melt under the sun. The way she renders it with, and the way she applies the ceramic, it just sort of has this impressionist painting feel, only with sculpture. And um, it kind of gives this real-life, visceral, three-dimensional feeling to an impressionist style that I really like. Um, You can also see the seams, you know, in the face and in various parts of the body. You can see the seams where where she put the pieces together. You can also see some of the pop and funk art influences with the bright and vibrant colors she uses. From further back, the man seems mostly blue and yellow, but as you get closer, you can see the beautiful color choices throughout. Finally, the universal theme of a working class man simply rendered with moving texture and bright colors, feels very fitting for a city that cherishes color, art, and music. Its alley location isolates the sculpture from the commotion of the downtown area, leaving one compelled to stop and observe Kneeling Man for its size, simplicity, color, texture, and general oddness. I've loved this sculpture since I saw it five years ago, and for me it represents what Pasadena is to me. I know you're sick, boy. 